Many thought this couldn't be done. A moment to celebrate for its maker, but could this plastic firearm have grave implications for gun control around the world? All of the major parts of this weapon have been created with this $8,000 3D printer. Computer designs are fed in, and the machine builds each component from layer upon layer of plastic. Untraceable and potentially undetectable. And now Cody Wilson plans to make his blueprints freely available online. There are states all over the world outside the United States that believe, uh, or that say, we're a gun control state, you can't own a firearm. That's not true anymore. I'm seeing a world where technology says that yeah, you'll pretty much be able to have whatever you want. Aren't you worried about the kinds of people who will be using this technology? I recognize that the tool might be used yeah, to harm other people. It's what it is. It's a gun. But um, again, I don't think that's a reason to not do it or a reason to not put it out there. With today's successful test and the aim to make this gun as easy to replicate as possible, 3D printing is already on the radar of law enforcement agencies around the world. This gun is legal in the US, but at the European Police Office headquarters, analysts are closely tracking developments. Criminals are still going to be able to access uh, weapons and guns more easily offline, but some of these risks uh, will emerge, and, and that could include, for instance, uh, sectors of society that haven't traditionally been able to get hold of weapons, like younger people. 3D printing has been held as the future of manufacturing, but with all new technology, along with the benefits, also come potential dangers. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News, Austin, Texas.